Hey guys, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living, and this is my, what month are we in? February? <laughs> yeah, my February Azure haul, and we are still doing the pantry challenge. Um, so as you can see, it is a very small Azure haul, things that my family still needs to consume, dairy, um, and nothing really all that crazy. But let me just jump right in here and tell you what I got. Um, last month I tried, I, I've gotten this Alexandra Farms um, whole milk twice now. The first time I got their seasonal full fat milk and it was too much too soon for my family <laughs> going straight from pasteurized store-bought milk to full fat milk was just a little bit of a shock value um, so I switched over to this 6% fat last month but I only got one six pack which I knew wasn't going to last us but I didn't know if we were going to love it so I ended up getting two packages of this and now one of these packages I am going to freeze um, because we are starting to warm up and my garage is not going to be staying cold enough to keep it in there so I am gonna be freezing this and this will be the first time that I have frozen milk um, so we'll see how that goes I know that it freezes just fine I've just personally never done it um, but we're excited to have this and two packages will last us probably a month and a half but it's better to have too much than not enough right so I got two packages of that I got two packages again of the um, that orange juice that I've been buying and that's that Lakewood organic orange juice. I've bought it for the past couple of months. It's the same kind and again one package was is not enough for us and right now my boys are on an orange juice kick. Um, it's always something different with them. It's either milk or orange juice or apple juice that they have to have. Um, I also got this Lakewood organic cranberry juice because I've been drinking it. I like to put, I like to make myself drinks with some ginger ale and mix it with the cranberry juice as just like a, a special sweet treat for myself. And now my boys think that they love cranberry juice because they've seen me drink it. So I'm glad I bought three of them because now they want cranberry juice, which is fine. They can have cranberry juice if they want, but it's not like it's sweet or anything. So I was surprised when they were like, oh, I need to have cranberry juice. <laughs> um, I got another six pack of the heavy whipping cream from Alexander Farms as well. I got this back in December and I was just now ready to get another one. I think I have one more in my freezer, but I didn't want to run out. Um, so, that I mean, six, six of these lasted us a good two months, if not more. And that it was, it's a really great, you know, it's A2 product, so I was really happy with that. Then I have some seasonings up here. Um, I and low on my Italian seasoning. I have to make up some new Italian seasoning as well as I want to make, I've never made before, um, the everything but the bagel seasoning and I love that seasoning but I've just never made it myself um, so I needed to pick up some ingredients for that. Also I need to make some more uh, ranch dressing mix, which I have made before, but I'm out of minced garlic, so I bought some more minced garlic, which um, I'm sure this will get 
used up completely. It's four ounces, but I wasn't sure how much four ounces was going to be, so I only got the only got that. This is probably going to be used up right away. Um, I got four ounces of thyme leaves because I've already gone through all of my homegrown thyme. I was not very good at preserving. I had I have still have thyme out in my garden. I just wasn't very good at getting to it, harvesting it, and drying it to preserve it. Um, so that's going to be on my list of things to do better this gardening season is really stay on top of my herbs because I shouldn't, I shouldn't have needed to do this. And if I was a more um, attentive gardener, I wouldn't have had to do this because I would have had plenty. But lesson learned. So I got some thyme leaves. I also got white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds for that everything bagel seasoning. Um, I'm really excited to try that and see how that turns out. Um, I have aspirations to make crackers and bagel, homemade bagels. I've been doing a lot of homemade bread making. Um, and you can just kind of use this seasoning on a lot of things. So I'm really excited to have that on hand. I'll be making a video on all of my spice making or spice mix makings, I suppose. So that's exciting to have. And then I just have a couple more things here. I bought five pounds of organic black beans because I was all out of black beans. Um, I used the last of them in that failed canning <laughs> um, video that you guys saw. Um, so I am going to be canning beans again. Um, and we'll see if it turns out better this time. <laughs> but I needed more black beans. Um, I got 10 pounds of organic rolled oats, or no, I guess this is just five pounds. Five pounds of organic rolled oats, because we're almost out of oats, and um, we go through rolled oats pretty quickly. Uh, the boys really like oatmeal, and I really love oatmeal. It's a nice, I love just kind of throwing it in my Instant Pot, and in 10 minutes we have breakfast, which is really nice. So I had to get some of that. Back here, I have, how much is this? This is 25 pounds. Goodness gracious. So the 25 pound bag of organic basmati rice. We still have some rice, but we were low. And I'm just gonna put this in one of our five gallon food storage buckets to have on hand and it will definitely get used. And then the last thing I have here in this bag, this is 10 pounds of onions. And they're nice, big, beautiful onions that I'm excited to have. I need to get them out of this bag and stored properly, but I think I'm going to process some of these, maybe half of them, and then the other half I'll just dry storage them for fresh cutting and things like that, and then the other half I'll chop up, maybe use my food processor, and then freeze them to have them on hand for recipes. But this is what, 10 pounds of onions looks like. <laughs> so that's a pretty big thing of onions, but we use onions a lot. And I hate having loose onions in my pantry and all like the onion skins getting all over the place. So <laughs> um, I'm going to have to figure out a better system than that, than what I currently do, but really glad to have onions because we were totally out. But yeah, oh, and I got, I totally breezed over this 
uh, raw milk cheddar cheese. I had bought this before. This is the Azure brand. And it's a raw milk cheddar aged for 60 days. I can't remember if I bought this in December. I think I bought this in December, yeah. And we're, I just used the last of it. So again, another two month supply for us. And it's perfect timing to get another one. So excited to have that for our recipes and just for um, fresh eating and things like that. But yeah, this is, this is all that I got for this month. And it's nothing too crazy, just mostly fluids. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that's it for this month. Thanks for, uh, coming by and checking out what I got this time. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.